Hello guys, this is just a quick video today. Um, I got few. I decided to um, print a couple um, pictures for my daughter on the transfer paper. I have it from Yolo. This is the, one of my favorite paper. This is Jet Pro heat transfer paper, so it's for white fabrics. It's brilliant. And after reading a few posts on the DSF forum, I decided to prove you that you don't need the optical eye to cut to contour cut the uh, transfer paper. As you can see, bloody basic um, cut uh, plotter cutter. This is a Seiki, so a Seiko Seiki. God knows how you call it. Some cheap Chinese thing. I think I paid 150 quid for it. Anyway, that's my um, that's my couple pictures there. As you can see, sorry for all that. This is just a quick video to show you. Um, so I print that through the flexi um, flexi starter. This has uh, uh, four four registration marks: one in E, one in E, and one in each corner, as you can see. All the registration marks has um, little arrow. Okay, so you know this is the way you load the load the paper. Well, this is the way they paper should come out out of the cutter <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna show you now look I just load it try to load it properly to the um, to the cutter I don't know I don't know if you can see on the video here but there is a red lighter that's what the people call on eBay optical eye if you if you're planning to buy some chi cheap Chinese cutter well I would recommend them for the starters yeah they they find they do the job I will prove you in a minute but I quite difficult to set up especially if you have one of the new windows so once you get them set up they perfect but anyway this red little light they call it optical eye that's not true the optical eye real optical eye is only fitted in the most more expensive um, models which I think is one of the Graftec and Roland have them they can automatically read the registration mark and perfectly cut the contour in cheap Chinese cutters, all this red light, this, this tiny little red uh, laser beam, this is only, only to sh to help you, to guide you to the to, to the marks. You still need to do everything by hand. So if you're planning to buy one, sometimes you can see a uh, price difference. In this same cutter model, one of them has optical eye, well, and uh, one of them hasn't. Those that has optical eye, they be expensive, 20, 30, 50 quid more. Don't, don't, don't get fooled. Don't get fooled. Don't buy the more, the more expensive one only because they have the little red beam. You don't need it. I show you. Well, fortunately or unfortunately, I have them. But look, they they pretty wiggly, <laughs> as you can see. They pretty wiggly and they completely useless. So I show you how I do it. Look. Okay, so let me let me send the job to the cutter. <clears throat> okay, I'm sending the job now. Sorry, I can't show you on the screen what's going on now, but if you get get that far with the contour cutting, you know, you know, you need to pick a proper. Um, proper settings for the contour cutting you will see the um, little arrows on the screen that will help you guide to the um, to the um, registration mark I show you how okay I just managed to send the job to the cutter now on my screen all I can see just the four arrows to help me align the um, cutter to the to the registration marks. I use the, my arrow keys on my laptop. Just watch, look what the cutter do. See? I can steer with my laptop, with my laptop keys. So 
so all I do, I just try to align the knife, just try to align, align the knife properly to the first the registration mark. I just managed to align to the first uh, registration mark. All I do, just click OK. And now cut and move to another rough, to rough place where another, um, the second uh, registration mark is placed. So you just need to repeat everything four times basically. Okay, that's the second one done. Click, click OK, and the knife went to the third one. Okay. Sorry for my head in a, in a but obviously as I said, the um, the little red light beam, what they call it, optical eye, is completely useless. So I need to, um, so I need to look underneath the knife. You can you can move the knife about one or maybe a half of the millimeter each time you click you press the arrow key so this is pretty good pretty accurate okay that's the third one done and the fourth one Okay, the fourth one is done. I just click OK. And what I need to do is just send the job again. Click OK. And the cutter should begin cut around my uh, graphics. I, I left uh, about one, maybe two millimeters of bleeding around the graphics. So this will be invisible on the white garment. Got it here now, all cut it and ready to weed. So, so let's see how accurate I managed to align my um, my cutter without without optical eye. As I said, just 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 have a, just have a look on the on the light beam. See how wiggly this is. So you you just won't won't trust it. So if you can manage to buy one without the light beam. Just a bit cheaper, just do it. Okay, let's see what I can do. It's very, 
very thin paper, very nice. Last bit, oh no, not last bit, but what do they want? The last the big bits. Okay. Inside. And one in here. And one in here. Okay, all done. Okay. To those who said you need to um, laser eye, optical eye, or whatever they call to cut the um, to cut the transfers, as you can see, is not true. It's already cut a little. So about the bad light, I decided to do it very quickly. So I don't know if you can see the if you can see the edges. I I left about a couple millimeters. This is the hello banana lady. So, right here. Small elements, as little stars. As I said, a couple millimeters of bleeding. This won't be visible on a on dark garment. Yeah. Hope you found it uh, interesting. If you have a better idea how to do it, as I as I always say, just share. Let me know. Thank you very much for watching, rate thumbs up, thanks.